All right, so let's get our first guest now in on the show. Vikas Kimani of Edelweiss Securities is with us to tell us how to be, uh, how to approach this market at this point in time. Hi, Vikas. Uh, today the market is quiet, but then we've seen the damage that you, you know the the Nifty and Sensex have had in the last 10-15 uh, trading sessions. Uh, what is your view on how to approach this space tactically now? I'm trying to understand whether there are any buy calls at all in the in in, in individual stocks, or is it just a capital? protection mode that you would advise I think given the in the recent past given the volatility uh, you know in the markets and I think you know news flow around the uh, uh, policy related matters I think there is excessive focus at the macro levels and I think uh, rightfully but I think because of that excessive macro re uh, focus levels I think the individual stocks uh, stock focus has sort of gone down uh, and I think most of the market participants are looking to get some clarity on uh, on, on, on sort of macro going forward and that is where the markets stand but we do think that you know definitely macros are worrisome concern but I think uh, uh, you know concerning all of us but I think within that there is a you know, definitely opportunity to look at individual stocks sectors and I think within every market chaos you will find invest investment opportunities but I think uh, broadly speaking you know uh, you know by and large investor community is a sort of concern uh, you know what will be the way forward whether interest rates will come down will rupees stabilize here and I think once this uh, sort of volatility settles down, I do feel that investors would uh, sort of make fresh exposure, will begin to make, uh, make fresh exposure you know, very soon. Hmm. Vikas, hi, morning. In light of what we've seen on the banking stocks, what would your view be with regards to the banking space fundamentally at these levels and between public and private? I think banking stock is one of the, you know, sector is one of the, you know, uh, the most affected sector in that sense uh, in the recent past, uh, both from the interest rates as well as the slowing down growth, which has impact on the asset quality. And I think for the sector to come back, you know, decisively, I think we need to see definitely, you know, growth coming back and interest rates to come down. And both are unlikely to come in a hurry. So I think, you know, and having said that also, this sector is also going to be very volatile and very uh, sort of reactive to the news flow which comes out. So I think that's the we have seen huge amount of volatility in this, in this sector and which will continue. So I think it clearly depends on you know what kind of investment horizon you have, what kind of view you have. I, and I do think that this volatility will continue at, you know, at least next three to six months. So if you cannot live with that kind of volatility, I think you know, you're, better, you're better off staying away because I think growth is unlikely to come back in a hurry. Asset quality issues are unlikely to settle down in a hurry. So I think this, this is going to continue for some time. And uh, I think I would say that, you know, if you want to take contra call, you know, from you know, medium to long term perspective, probably you can make some exposure, uh, you know, both in private and as well as public because stocks are trading at a good valuation. But can the evaluations go down further uh, from here? Uh, uh, you know, that probability cannot be ruled out because the environment might deteriorate from here if, you know, uh, policy actions are not, you know, in line, line with what is expected uh, to get the macros right. Would you advise a buy on Tata Steel at the 275 rupee level, Vikas, or do you think a lot of the good news is already in the price? I think the metal sector, you know, uh, per se is looking uh, sort of decent uh, for the reason I think a I think the the currency uh, depreciation also has an impact on the on the metal sector because most of the prices are internationally uh, dollar pegged. So I think in that sense, these uh, stocks will uh, sort of. Uh, 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 sort of, uh, you know, see better realization. So we do feel if a and second impact is that I think the global growth is sort of coming back, or I think it is looking better. Uh, definitely, metal prices uh, sh uh, should look up. Uh, may not be very steep one, but in a slow and steady manner. Because I think if prices are bottomed out and starts improving from there, we do think metal sector eventually can do well. Uh, in case of Tata Steel, I think you know, chorus being the large part. I think you know improvement in Europe definitely has an impact on that, and I think they have done a lot of uh, uh, measures as a company to sort of save costs, and their recent numbers were also very good. So we do think metal as a sector per se can do uh, very well uh, in otherwise uh, weak environment because I think the you know rupee, depreciating rupee and appreciating the uh, increase in the metal prices are likely to help. Hmm. Vikas, how would you approach defensives within this market? You know, San Pharma has run up 36% on a YTD basis, but in this week itself, it's now seeing some amount of profit booking. The stock itself is down 7 odd percent. Would you see this as an op opportunity to accumulate San Pharma? See, I think, uh, you know, defensives uh, uh, in the recent c c correction, defensives saw the most amount of correction, uh, you know, probably apart from banking. And one of the reasons I think if you see uh, there's incremental filling along with the economic uh, slowdown now, there might be some slowdown in the consumer 
and maybe you know a little bit of in the pharma but pharma is actually slightly insulated i would say but i think you will start seeing some slowdown definitely in consumers so uh, defensives uh, you know definitely most of the investors are worried that you know given uh, their valuations that you know what happens if slowdown happens in the growth uh, but i would th tend to think that in a in a otherwise volatile otherwise weak environment unless the growth comes back money is unlikely to shift big time out of defensives mm -hmm. so you know you will see them on corrections buying emerging on them and uh, as far as the Sun Pharma is concerned, we have a buy rating. We like the stock from a long-term perspective. So, you know, we have been advising, you know, to accumulate on the corrections. Okay. Just one final word then on the telecom space because uh, we have seen telecom as a recommendation in the last couple of weeks. But um, off late, like, you know, in this week itself, Bharti has lost about 10% or so. Would you use it as a buying opportunity? Yes, I think we've been very positive on the telecom sector, you know, over last you know, six to eight months, and I think we continue to remain positive. And uh, we do think that you know, uh, worst is behind for the sector, and I think there will be a slow and steady improvement. Uh, it may not be you know very sharp and steep, but I think there will be a slow and steep, uh, steady improvement in the fundamentals. I think you will see realizations improving uh, across the sector, and I think regulatory burden is also sort of settling down. So we do think you know, sector will do well going forward, and we we are advising investors to look at the sector. All right, Vikas, we leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining in. So that's Vikas Kimani of Yieldwise Securities holding for the markets with a gain of around three tenths of a percent, just about flat with a positive bias today. Take a break and come back. We'll get talking to the chief economist of Care Rating.